Seven by Catfish and the Bottle Men. So the song is in standard tuning as a capo on fret one. So we're going to start off with an A chord. <laughs> I'm going to play what is technically a G minor, but it would be an F sharp minor because of the capo. So basically, it's a minor chord on the third fret. So again, A major. G or F sharp minor. Then we have this little section. So we're playing fret 10 of the G and fret 12 of the D. And I'm going to play both of those together. I'm going to play 10 of the B down to 12 of the G, so. Back to 10 and 12 of the G and D. Then we're going to play. So, two notes on each of these following notes. 10 on G, 12 on G. And then we're going to hold that down while we play 11 on the B and 10 on the E. Then we're going to play 10 of the E, 13 of the B, 11 of the B. Hold that one down while we play 12 of the G and 10 of the G. Then we're going to play 8 of the E and 11 of the B. And then we're going to do a little bend on that note there. It's not a semitone or just a little bend. So. goes over the A and the F sharp minor. Then we've got the chorus type section. So it's a major chord on the sixth fret. Fifth fret, if you're including this as fret one, so I'm mean, muting it on the bridge. Then we're going to come down and play the F sharp minor, and then an open E chord. And then right at the end of that section, you start building the intensity. Don't mute it on the bridge, you take your hand off and you're playing all through the chord. So that's what happens at the end of that section. Then we're back into the verse, we've got the A major. And the F sharp minor. Over the top of that we're back into it twice this time round. Then we're back into that chorus type section. Then we're back into the A 
major and the F sharp minor. Then we've got the solo. So the solo is playing over the chords A and F sharp minor. So the solo starts like this. starting here on fret 3 of the G or fret 2 if you include the capo as one so 3 up to 5 and I'm going to play this 6th fret of the B as well so that's up to the 5 6 5 then we're going to slide back from 5 down to 3 Back from three up to five, and then we're going to play that six again. Then we're going to play six of the B, seven of the G, eight of the B, six of the B, seven to five of the G, eight of the D to five of the D. So sorry. Then we're going to play that lick again, but we're going to play two notes or two picks per note. So again, that's six, seven, Eight, six, seven, five, eight, five. Then on the G string, we're going to slide up to tap fret ten, not tap fren. And then we're going to play fret ten of the G and the B. Then we're going to play ten of the G and eleven of the B. Then slide that shape up two frets. So we play 12 of the G and 13 of the B. Then we're going to play that lick. So 13 on the E, 15 of the B, 15 of the E, 13 of the E, 15 of the B. 13 of the B, 15 of the G, 12 of the G. Then we're going to play that G minor chord. So we've got 12 of the G, 11 of the B, 10 of the E. So, let's do the whole thing slowly. changes from to so we're going to play that E flat major then we're going to play the open A then the open E go on until the end of the song. There is another little thing which I'll show you that you can go over the top of that as well. So over those chords we can also play 
So, 12 of the G, 11 of the B, 12 of the G, 13 of the B, 11 of the B, 12 of the G, 10 of the E, 13 of the B, 11 of the B, 12 of the G, 10 of the G, 12 of the D. So that bit again. The second half of the riff is the same as the first, but it changes slightly at the end. So 12 of the G, 11 of the B, 12 of the G, 13 of the B, 11 of the B, 12 of the G, 10 of the E, 13 of the B, 11 of the B, and then 10 of the G. And it plays with that twice. And then the song ends on this F-sharp minor chord, or G minor chord, if you're not playing it with a capo. Mm -hmm.